sunshines! So today I am doing a tag video to celebrate the release of Frozen Tides, which is the fourth book in Morgan Road's Falling Kingdom series. It's out on December 15th. The Falling Kingdom series is sort of like a young adult version of Game of Thrones. There are three kingdoms who are all grappling for power. So it has magic and war and betrayal and treachery and fantasy and adventure and all kinds of intrigue and political savvy. It's told from the point of view of four different characters. So there are four unique points of view in this story and it's just a really incredible fantasy series. I have literally just begun the first book in this series, but I am so excited to finish this series. I've heard nothing short of amazing things. I just need to kick my butt into high gear and plow through this series. Now you guys all know me and you know that I love a good tag video, especially when it relates to books. This particular tag is super special because the questions were actually created for us by Morgan Rhodes herself. She wrote them up by hand on paper and drew a super cute drawing at the bottom congratulating us for being badass conquerors. I love it. So without further ado, we're going to dive into the tag. Question number one. In Minica, there are constant betrayals and you can't trust anyone. Which book character would you trust to be your sidekick on this adventure? So to answer this question, I chose Mark Watney from The Martian. I would choose Mark Watney because he freaking grew potatoes on Mars. Are you kidding me? This is the kind of person I need by my side, somebody who has quick wit, who knows science, who can do all kinds of incredible things with their brain, plus we could survive almost anywhere, case in point. Question number two. You will come across many who want you dead in Minica, so you have to be ready to fight. What kind of warrior are you? People oftentimes think that I am just this sweet little naive kind of Disney princess and I in reality can, when I need to, can just beat you up. So. I would have to say that I'm the kind of under the radar warrior who is good at recon and good at maybe undercover missions. So I feel like I could utilize that to my advantage in the sense that I could really get close to my enemies, make them think that I'm on their side, and then flip on them at the last minute and conquer the kingdom. Question number three, what fantasy world would you like to conquer? I don't think I necessarily want to conquer this kingdom in the sense that I want to take over and overthrow the throne with an iron fist, but I would love to be the queen of this kingdom, and that kingdom is Wonderland. Wonderland is kooky and crazy and out there and weird, and there are so many unique and interesting individuals who live in Wonderland. So I think I would just like to be queen of Wonderland so I can be kooky and fun and crazy with everyone there and rule with fun. Question number four, which fictional character would you choose to rule by your side? And that character is Hermione from the Harry Potter series. The reason that I would choose Hermione as someone I would want to rule by my side is because she's quick-witted, she is so smart, she can utilize magic in a really badass way. Like she is just super amazing at magic. Um, but she also has compassion and empathy and can see all sides of a situation and an argument and she's just incredible and so I think that we would make an incredible ruling duo. Question number five, who would you throw into the dungeon? America Singer made me mental. I didn't think that a character could get more whiny and more irritating than America Singer, but turns out they could and that person is Adolin, her daughter, who is stuck up, who is snotty, who is just kind of a queen bee. So Adolin is somebody that I would want to throw into a dungeon because hearing her whine and complain and moan about having to live the rest of her life in a dungeon where it's dingy and dirty and she doesn't have her prim and proper dresses and her maids to take care of her and all of the boys fighting over her would just bring me a lot of satisfaction. Question number six. Who gets stabbed in the back? I was trying to think of all of the characters that I hate the most in all of fiction ever, and I came to the conclusion that out of all characters that I hate the most, Bella from the Twilight series, I don't even have a book to hold up because I don't own the Twilight series because that's how much I hate it. It just makes me just so mad, so mad and irritated, and I just completely hate 
everything about Twilight, everything about Bella. I just loathe it with almost every fiber of my being. And so if Bella lived in my kingdom, she wouldn't live in my kingdom because I would just take care of that. And the kingdom would be so much better off because of it. That is the e-Hollywood true story. Number seven, what elemental magic would you choose to yield and why? I would definitely choose earth because I have always felt a connection to the earth, the forest. I feel so at home in the forest. Growing up, I would just spend hours wandering in the forest and the woods near my house, and I would just get lost out there, and I feel so at peace and so grounded when I am connected to the earth. All right, you guys, well, those are my answers to the hashtag conquering kingdoms tag. I hope you enjoyed. This was a super fun video to make. Definitely check out the other girls' videos below. This is sort of a book tour tag, as it were. So there's a booktuber posting a video of this tag for about a week and a half up until the release of Frozen Tides on December 15. So really exciting. I will be sure to keep the links down below updated as those videos go live. Thank you so much, Penguin, for getting us all together to do this tag. And thank you, Morgan, for coming up with the questions. It's so awesome. I love how involved you were in creating this tag. So thank you so much. I am excited to hear your thoughts on this series. If you have already read it, let me know what I'm missing out on. How quickly do I need to get through this series? I am so excited. If you haven't read it, pick it up. The fourth book comes out on December 15. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Dig really deep. Do your thing and just outline all of the things you need to outline. All kinds of things that are less than pleasant qualities. Keeping in mind that your character needs to have flaws.